new season and a new man kicking off. That's Lee Tiffin who bangs it away. Coming down about the two-yard line, Ross Dickerson will bring it back for the Warriors. It's closed out across the 30, cuts back out near midfield before he is finally ridden down. Nate Alaw lines up next to him in the backfield as they will start in the shotgun. First throw of the night. A little wide, but a great diving grab. Aloha, the running back, he may not touch it very often tonight. Brennan gives it to Aloha on the shovel pass. Tripped up around the 35-yard line, maybe by that 35-yard line. Matt Collins will be credited with the stop for Alabama. And an untested secondary with the exception of Ramsey Robinson. Second and short, another shovel pass to Aloha. Upended inside the 30. They'll mark him down. Say his knee touched around the 28-yard line, but that should be enough for another Hawaii first down. Warriors had success running it against Alabama in the last meeting. That was a concern for Joe Kynes, tied defensive coordinator. Quick throw, catch made, tripped up by Jeffrey Dukes. Dan Kelly checks in, 10 out of 15 a season ago, a 42-yarder, plenty of leg, and right down the middle. And the Warriors take advantage of that good starting field position after the good return by Ross Dickerson. They settle for three, but they lead 3-0 over the Crimson Tide. Travis McCall gets the start at tight end. Brown is the motion man. First throw for Wilson. It is behind Matt Cadell just a little bit, but he's able to reel it in. Nice throw and catch that, Tyler Watts. But a very athletic group that loves to blitz under coordinator. Jerry Glanville, here's Darby, straight up the gut, out across the 40, near the 43-yard line, a pickup of nine on first down. They'll give it to the fullback, who cuts back and finds some daylight in the Warrior territory around the 42-yard line, more than enough for an Alabama first down. Wilson wants to throw again. Deep ball down the side. Brown goes up and reels it in. What a catch around the 20-yard line by Keith Brown. And Tiffin, the true freshman from Red Bay, Alabama, son of Van Tiffin, getting the start tonight. A 31-yard field goal attempt by Tiffin. Right down the middle for the tide. Each team one possession, each team a field goal. Asked Mike Shuley earlier this week, does it make him feel old to be coaching a player? The son of a guy he played with, Van Tiffin. High kickoff at the goal line. Kenny Patton this time. Curls out across the 20 as markers come down. He's ridden out of bounds around the 22-yard line. Brennan in the Hawaii offense, not holding the starting position. The receiving this time. team, number 10, 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul, first down. Step off, takes it back to around the six yard line. Eloa out across the 20, gets the penalty back and a lot more. He will have a Hawaii first down. Kurt Milne, senior, out of Roswell, Georgia to punt it away, low wobbly kick. Alabama will run away from it. They'll touch it down around the 38. Jimmy Johns checks into the game and gets the handoff. Explodes over the left side in the Hawaii territory, ridden out of bounds at the 44 yard line by Leonard Peters once again. First down, Alabama. Deep drop for Wilson. He will step up, get what he can, take it to around the 41-yard line, and another late flag comes in. And that's personal foul, helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact, number 44 in the defense, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. At the Hawaii 26, Johns once again. Straight ahead running this time around the 22-yard line. Third and three. Johns, the lone setback. Gets it again. Takes a lick. Powers inside the 15-yard line and will move the chains once more. 
First down Alabama after the timeout from the Hawaii 14. John still in there, takes one lick, slips a tackle, finally ridden down. Just shy of the five yard line, getting nine yards on that. Three tight ends, Castile dives forward and will have the first down. Impressive drive for Alabama's offense here, trying to cash it in. Castile one more time, slips outside and walks into the end zone. Touchdown Alabama. Direct snap to Eloa who fumbles the football. Still loose. And Alabama's got it. Take over at the Hawaii 28-yard line. Brown, the motion man. Wilson swings it out to Castile. Carries tacklers inside the 20-yard line. He is very close to another Alabama first down, and he will have it. The freshman doinks it off the upright. Plenty of leg. And the upright might start stop shaking by the time we come back. Warriors start this drive. From their 20. Bad snap from the shotgun. Brennan tripped up. Sacked. Back at the 16-yard line. Prince Hall, who recovered the fumble. Credited for that sack. Uh, get some momentum and... The crowd now starting to get into it. Kurt Milne bangs it away. A beautiful kick this time. Simeon Castile bobbles it, but reels it in. You saw it versus, with South Carolina and Mississippi State at the end of the first half, not having more time to get more plays off. Jimmy Johns back in there galloping over the left side, fumbles it out of bounds. But they will mark him out around the 47-yard line. C.J. Hawthorne back deep. Fitzgerald hits a beautiful kick. Gets it to turnover. Checks up at the five. Rolling to the one. Tide really able to pin Hawaii deep. Starting from their one. Brennan. Plenty of time to the near side. Bess makes the grab. Stops. Shakes one man and finally chased out of bounds. Shovel pass again to Eloa. Out to the 25, spins forward near the 26, and that'll be good for a first down. Reagan Mawia checks in. He's six foot, 296, and he's dropped 50 pounds. A converted defensive lineman. Brennan in trouble, throws it away, and here comes the flag for intentional grounding. Zach Schreiber, redshirt freshman, out of Shreveport. Bobbled snap by Milne. He's in trouble. Shovels it into the end zone. It is recovered for a touchdown. After review, there is video evidence that the player recovering the ball was out of bounds before recovering. Right, here we go. Instead of a touchdown, it is a safety. 5.13 to go in the first half. Dan Kelly set to boot it away. Javier Arenas ridden down right at the 45-yard line. running once again by Jimmy John as he darts out across midfield on third and one. Castile tries to go outside, cuts it up instead. A good decision on his part and he'll have the first down. Wilson with time, wants to go deep. That one kind of hanging up on him. Brown comes back and makes the catch. Inside the 10. Shot at a 23-yard field goal. He's one out of two so far tonight. 
drills that one and extends Alabama's lead to 15 to 3. That minus 10 yards passing for Hawaii, that is absolutely unheard of in this offense. Swing it out near side to Bess. Darting out of bounds. Markers come in. That may be a face mask on the Crimson Tide. Shovel pass again to Iloa. Eludes one man. Races down to the 30-yard line. Fourth down, June Jones changes his mind. They're going to go for it. Brennan flushed, runs into his own man and goes down. Right around the original line of scrimmage. When you start to feel the pocket close in around you, that's the first time that you can take off because everybody's back in coverage. Quickly, we'll send it down, try and get a word from head coach Mike Shula. You know, where we uh, one time we didn't get a score, and the other time we had to settle for three. We need to make touchdowns against this football team because they're so potent on offense. Four out of ten in the first half. He'll throw to start the second half. Wide open Darby coming out of the backfield. Out across the 25 near the 27 yard line. Good pickup. The, the bad thing about that is against a team like Hawaii, they can score quick and very often. Quarterback sneaked by John Parker Wilson will have the first down. The 31 and Russell for the Hawaii offense after that first drive. Really nothing positive for June Jones' team. True freshman Andre Smith starting at left tackle. Bootleg for Wilson. He dumps it off to the tight end. Travis McCall, big gain out across the 45-yard line. Third down, shotgun for Wilson with time to the far side. Will Oakley makes the catch for the Alabama first down. 35-yard line of Hawaii. First and 10 at the Warriors, 35 now. Play action. Wilson throws on the run looking for Brown. It is caught. Touchdown. Flags came in for pass interference, and once again, Keith Brown coming back to the football, making the play, and the tie leads 21-3. On second down, sends it out to the far side. Bryce Mullins' first catch of the ball game. Big third down here, opening possession for the Warriors in the second half. Guns that throw complete to the near side. Rivers able to shed Simeon Castillo. Pick up the first down before Rashad Johnson gets him to the ground. Over the middle. Catch made. Running room for Ryan Grice Mullen. Jeffrey Dukes finally chases him down. First down, Warriors. No pressure at all on Brennan. He'll run it now. Take a lick as he falls inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. On second and one, Mawia lumbering, fumbles the ball. And Alabama's got it. Simeon Castile recovers the fumble. First and five now for the Crimson Tide. Castile, big hole, trying to break it outside. Ridden down near the 15-yard line, and that is enough for the first down. Fitzgerald on to punt. He hit a beautiful punt earlier. Another tight spiral. Turns over. Catch made right at midfield. Time again for Brennan. Deep ball. Man open, Grice Mullins spins away from Marcus Carter. He slung out of bounds inside the 20-yard line. And just like that, Hawaii knocking on the door again inside the red zone. Second down and nine, officially. Shovel pass to Mawia. Inside the 10, inside the 5, and a touchdown for the Warriors. 
He got that momentum going and was not going to be stopped. Second and 12 now for the Crimson Tide. Good protection for Wilson who rifles that one. Another leaping grab by Keith Brown. Quick throw to the tight end and another first down. Nick Walker reels that one in. Wilson to throw again. Rifles that one complete to Will Oakley for a short game. Left Kenny Patton and his jock at about the 20-yard line and ran the rest of the way on his own. Another quick throw. Matt Cadell over the middle, makes that grab. Ducks his head down to the 30, and that'll be another Crimson Tide first down. Wilson with time over the middle. Catch made again. Nick Walker, the tight end. So for the second time, Alabama seen a touchdown taken off the board. Now Lee Tippin will attempt the 27-yard field goal. Bangs it through. And once more, the tie thinking it had six. Has to sell for a little bit less. Again, somewhat of a quick kick. Hustling the punt team out there, but it checks up. Takes an Alabama bounce. And touchdown right at the midfield strike. Officially the 48. P.J. Fitzgerald. On to punt for Alabama. Leonard Peters back deep. Fitzgerald hangs it up high. It's a favorable bounce. And touchdown right at the 15-yard line. Brennan, plenty of time to throw over the middle. Catch made by Dickerson. Wrapped up out across the 30 to the 34. Brennan loads up, swings it out to Bess. Trying to shake free. Ridden down by Castile at the 46-yard line. Third and 12. Brennan rolls away from trouble. Trying to find an open man. It is caught over the middle and good for a first down. Walking, Russell, around, you have a walking around with a U.A. shirt on didn't help matters much either. <laughs> First down throw, catch made by Dickerson. Down near the Alabama 30-yard line. That's a little bit shy of the first down. Oh, what an incredible atmosphere to be able to walk out on that field just one more time. Second and short, Brennan to throw again. Far side, it is caught by Grice Mullen for a touchdown. It's a big play right here. Shotgun for Wilson. Here comes the blitz. Pass tipped and caught by Brown. Out across the 30 near the 33 and another Alabama first down. Third and a long eight. Flags fly. I'm not sure Bama got the playoff in time. There's a flag on the play. The lead game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Shotgun once more. Four wide receivers for John Parker Wilson. In trouble and spun down for a loss. He'll be sacked back at the 33-yard line by Adam Leonard. Fitzgerald the punt. Bangs it away. Hawthorne at the 34. Stumbles and falls down. After a one-yard gain, and a flag comes in. The illegal block in the back. Receiving team, number 26. Ten-yard penalty. First down. Brennan rifles that one complete to Dickerson. Near the 35-yard line, but a little bit shy of the first down. Clock continues to roll to 20. It's third and one with 2.02 to play. Shovel pass again. Alabama read it well. David Farmer, his first the carry of the season. 
Brennan steps up, guns that one complete to Grice Mullen. But in the middle of the field, to the 44-yard line, clock continues to roll. Short throw and catch made by Devon Bess. Out across midfield. That's good for the first down. Lionel Mitchell with the big hit. Brennan harassed. Guns it. Complete again to Bess. Alabama keeps him inbounds. They'll stop the clock. Brennan will tuck it and run. Heading for the sideline. He will get out of bounds. Heads up play by the quarterback. Tied defense hoping to make one more play. This is the first Saturday. Brennan in trouble to the end zone. It is intercepted. Lionel Mitchell picks it off, and that will do it. The tied defense does indeed come up with one final play. Lionel Mitchell, the third turnover of the game. The Crimson Tide defense turning Hawaii away one final time. And Alabama will celebrate a season opening win. 5-17 over the Warriors from the University of Hawaii. Mike Shula now 4-0 as Bama's head coach in season openers.